What's going on, guys? Zach Evanesh, undergroundstrengthcoach.com. I don't talk too much about nutrition, and I always claim I am not a nutritionist, but I follow some pretty basic principles, and uh, almost 44 now, <clears throat> and started kind of getting into the whole bodybuilding thing like 30 years ago, so <clears throat> I've really experienced the bodybuilding diet. I did intermittent fasting or the warrior diet. I think I was 26 or 27 at the time, and I went from about 228 down to around 202. <clears throat> and I've experimented with different ways of eating, but right now the big focus is how do I feel when I eat? Do I have the energy? And so when I have a workout coming up, let's say, you know, Monday I'm squatting. Well, on Sunday, I know that I got to make sure I am well fed, that I am prepared for Sunday physically and mentally. So my preparation before squatting, <clears throat> it starts the day before, not just the day of. And so um, today was a strange day where I really woke up in the middle of the night, but uh, sometimes I'll skip breakfast. But if I'm ever feeling like I'm a little bit low on energy, um, and I let's say I felt like that yesterday, then I say, okay, tomorrow you got to dial it in. You got to eat a little bit more protein. It's okay to get some carbohydrates in there. The world will not end. And uh, get a little extra sleep. Get get to bed 30 minutes earlier. Get to bed an hour earlier. So um, here's breakfast right here, guys. Nothing crazy. Uh, six scrambled eggs. Piece of toast with Kerrygold butter on there. I know the uh, carbohydrate police are going to get all worked up about that. But for me, it's performance. So I'm not... My thing is just certainly not getting ripped. Um, that for me is like a, a whole no, a whole nother world and a whole nother ball game. As a father of two, a husband, a business, full time work, multiple businesses, I am constantly on the run. So I just keep it simple, guys. Scrambled eggs for breakfast on Sundays. I always make pancakes for the family, so I'll have one large pancake. Um, Sometimes I'll have bacon, but for the most part, it's eggs. And then my meals throughout there are uh, most of the time mostly protein based. So, you know, hamburger patties, different cuts of steak. Yesterday I had lasagna. It's pretty rare for me to eat like a pasta or a lasagna dish. And I mean, very rare. But we had lasagna here yesterday. So that's what I ate. And um, the one thing I always say is like, when you're an adult, you don't need to eat like a kid, and vice versa. Kids, should not be eating like adults. They should not be intermittent fasting or going keto. That's insane. Uh, my rule for athletes is you need three meals by three o'clock. Then you have dinner. That's your fourth meal. Oftentimes that's your post-workout meal. Then at night is your fifth meal. And that fifth meal could resemble anything else you've already eaten throughout the day. It could be another breakfast. It could be dinner leftovers. It could be a protein shake. The key is you're training for performance. Those of you who are dads out there, business owners, same thing. You're training to perf for performance, to feel strong. And so uh, you got to fuel the body, guys. And uh, eggs and meats make it pretty simple. And um, a couple months back, probably early summer, I did an Iron Roots podcast on the early days keto diet. It was written in the mid-1960s. And uh, they didn't call it the keto diet. It was basically the all-protein diet. And it was probably inspired from Vince Garanda, who would talk about 36 eggs a day or who would talk about the steak and eggs diet. And so, um, as many people tell you, nothing is new or what's old is new. And it's interesting that a lot of this like anabolic diet style eating is coming back to the forefront. Here's the big difference, though. The food of today is way, way different than the food of the 60s and 70s. Think about the milk that they drank, you know, five, six decades ago, <clears throat> four decades ago. Way different than the milk we're drinking today. Same thing with the meats. A lot of less chemicals involved in everything back in the day, which I believe made those foods more powerful. But anyways, it is, it is what it is. This is what we got. Got to make the best of it. And that's it, guys. Zach Evanish undergroundstrengthcert.com for the strength coaches. And if you're a strength athlete, go to zackstrength.com. Boom, I'm out.